Excuse me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Code Fights doing our similar in the intro section, exploring the waters. So what we're trying to attempt here, or what we will do here, rather, is we are seeing, hey, are these two arrays similar? Can we swap two values out and get a, a swap of value in each, rather? Would we be able to swap a value from one and the other and they're, they, they would pass only one time, right? So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started. The first thing that I did was I found myself coming to a situation in which it would always try and swap something when they were identical or uh, my logic down below rather, that's, that's incorrect, did not work. So the first thing I did was, hey, if we already start off with something that is equal and because they're arrays, we need to compare it like so. Uh, we're just gonna convert them to strings. And if they're already the same, go ahead and return true. No need to have to run through our for loop we're about to do. <coughs> and when we run it here, our first test will pass. The one, so this, ex uh, this example here will pass and return true. Now, can we swap a value in one with the other and it still be true? That's the next thing we have to do. And in, and in our example here, we can't. But how do we go about that? Well, the way that I did it was I created two arrays and I, when the values weren't equal, I pushed the value into both arrays and then I reversed it and I said, hey, uh, is the length of our array two or less and are the strings equal? If they are, then our test case passes and we can go ahead and return true. If they aren't, return false. So how do, let's, let's go ahead and talk about that. So I just called this var c since there's a, b, a and b. We create this to an empty array and then we have var D and we also set this to an empty array. We're going to end up reversing one later on. The idea being that if they reverse and they're identical, then we can swap them and everything will work. So uh, we'll do our for loop now based off of that logic where we're going to iterate through a. So we'll say, well, i is less than a dot length. i plus plus. And then we'll say if, now if they aren't the same, that's when we want to push to the array. So if a of i, and because the arrays are the same length, we can just use the same i here. If a of i is, is not equal to b of i, go ahead and push in c a of i's value. And in d, we're gonna keep track of that with uh, b of i, with the, the b index rather. So a of i. And then d dot push b of i. All right, so now we have our c's and our b's. What we need to do is we need to reverse because if they're identical, we're, we're trying to see if we can swap them. And if we can swap them, they're going to be. We need to reverse it, and they should be equal to each other. So if we're going to reverse, uh, it doesn't really matter if you reverse c or d. We're just going to reverse. Uh, D here, so, so we'll say D is equal to D dot reverse. And our last statement here is just an if statement that says, hey, is the length of one of our arrays, it could be again C or D, I just use C, and is it equal to two and are the arrays, now that we reverse C and D, identical when we, when we convert them to a string? Is this a true statement? Now, if this is true, it means that we were they're identical, meaning that we can swap, and we only swap two times, which is essentially one and one. So if that is the case, and remember it's two because you do the first swap where you're you're not technically swapping, you're inserting a value. Say, hey, these don't match up. Okay, cool. Let's store those values. And then you say, okay, these don't match up either now. All right, cool. And then we say, hey, do if we swap these things, would our values be different? And if that's the case, return true. And if it's not, we are going to return false because we've tried, we've put logic in for all the true statements and now it fails. Like so. And then uh, hopefully I don't have a syntax error. Submit. And we are good to go. This one was one of the harder ones. 
This one was something where I kept on trying to find, figure out how to actually remove the values and how to swap them within the arrays, and that was when it started messing things up. And uh, this was a much easier way of going about it. But as always, guys, I look forward to you sharing your solutions for this. Uh, some of the uh, solutions on here are very intricate and uh, much better than my own. But uh, this is what I was able to come up with. And uh, yeah, here we are. So uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Support me on Patreon. Join our Facebook group and Discord channel. All those links are in the chat in the description down below. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.